Sharp left onto I-285 North. Okay, y'all. I'm trying something new here. Don't know how it's gonna work. I don't know. I don't have my forward-facing camera available. I'm trying this new helmet out. Caution, motorway. Now turn sharp left. Caution, motorway. Stack them up here. So anyway, we're going on a ride to LA Day, Georgia. I don't know how this is going to go. With these only two cameras, but we'll see how it goes. And um, just going to spend some time. It's going to be an experience. So you can see there's a lot of traffic out here on a Sunday. Amazed to see that. What can I say? People are here all the time in this Atlanta area, going different places, like we are. So we got two trikes, a KTM adventure bike, and my Gold Wing. So this is a small group. It's a beautiful day out. Eighty five degrees down. When I started out it was seventy six degrees. Purple temperature. But it got warmer. Since we're going up in the mountains, I kinda uh, just a little warmer than I normally would have. But I think later on in the day 
gonna get cooler. I'll be good to go. Not much to say today, except for it's getting cooler temperatures. It's time to get out and enjoy the bike before it gets too cold. Now keep left. Follow the road for two miles. In two miles, exit right. force the folks to let their group in only have four bikes it's getting crazy out here it's getting warm 85 degrees down now would have been the time to wear my joke Pocket, mesh jacket. I'm okay, I got more vents looking on this. It's a matter of fitting up. Don't you believe who can tell you when you can't get something done. Some people try to hold you back. You got to try to do good things. Thanks. Hello? Hey, how did thing kick in? <laughs> wow, I just I also go beep it like what was that? Can you both hear me? Wow. <laughs> I don't know what happened with this phone, man. It just did it when it wanted to. something because i'll say it should be automatic you know but it once it it wouldn't connect to the phone i said okay <laughs> well that's good maybe i can listen to some music now on my helmet now my gps was telling me to go turn left up here well i'm saying they got different ways of going because Mine told us to get off the highway a long time ago. <laughs> it was nice of this pickup truck to let me in. So he waved me around. I said, okay, cool. Now, Walter, are you still able to listen to your, um, your music too? The speakers. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. So, uh, I don't know if I'm, tr I was doing some recording, not very good, but 
I don't know if it's gonna pick up your voices or not. We'll see. Yeah. I'll say. But it's good being able to say something instead of waving, you know? Um, Georgia 9, which is uh, Delago Highway. It's only half a mile up according to this. In three quarters of a mile, prepare to keep left. I was just looking at that. The rest of the way is just filled with um, scenic roads. Uh, some of these clips you'll see uh, the mountain passes we were going through, and you can actually see some of the valley. So it began to be a right, nice and scenic route on the rest of the way. And even some of the turnabouts, you see how some of the people are driving and that there were a lot of people out there on the road that day. As we got closer to the orchard, the traffic began to slow down. And as you can see, we're doing a lot of stopping and going. And I was told when we got there, there's a two mile strip there that it takes you about 20 minutes to get through. There were a few small towns we had to get through to get to our destination, but most of them were pretty scenic, scenic and it seems kind of peaceful. We only saw a few motorcycles going the opposite directions. But we did see a lot of exotic sports cars like Porsches and Corvettes, a lot to some of these places up here. So I guess a lot of people up here has the money to uh, drive these fancy vehicles, but it seemed like a nice Sunday for them to be out with them. So we kept on pressing through the small towns and we got to see some nice things along the way. It was just a nice, enjoyable ride. Again, the ride was nice until we got to another uh, traffic log um, right before we got to the um, orchard. And we kept running to this same car a couple of times on the way, but uh, it was just uh, not a problem. It, but it's a good thing I had the DCT. I didn't worry about shifting. It was great having an automatic on a ride like this at towards the end. So again, nice and enjoyable. Too bad you couldn't hear my editorial liaison along the way after I lost my first camera, but uh, enjoy this in a way. We finally made it to our turn in, but we had to deal with the traffic along the way. Believe it or not, the hill that you see uh, as you're facing back to the right is the orchard we're going through. We just waiting to get into the parking lot and not all this traffic is associated with this orchard there's a lot of other things going along along this path that causes the slowdown had to be real careful entering this parking lot there's a lot of loose gravel and a heavy motorcycle on loose gravel was not a good thing the guys with the trikes were having no issues and our buddy with the KTM, you know, he, he did, did well on this stuff. But then we turned to compacted rocks, which was okay. And I was able to easily park in the uh, compact rock area. Made it to our destination. They have a swimming pigs <laughs> races. Hillcrest Orchard. And LJ Georgia. A lot of 
the folks in this place. Well, we enjoyed the ride up. We're ready to head back here in a minute. It was a fine day out with this group, small group. I enjoyed spending time with friends and family. And we went in and saw, um, there was a few shows going on inside, some dance performances and things like that. A lot of food going on in the coffee. And uh, then there was uh, some things, uh, desserts you can buy and things like that. So they had a nice little area to do that. And then uh, you had a choice of picking your own apples or buying that one that was already on the table for display. So it was a good time up. We went up, spent some time together as friends and family, and then we went back, grabbed us something to eat along the way, and pressed on home. It was a great time for all. Look at the genuine smiles on those faces. This was great. Thanks for watching.